So the Air Force has only a few uh, Belfield Airmen jobs out there. One of them is the Tactical Air Control Party. And what the Tactical Air Control Party is, is we're the liaison between the Army and the Air Force. So we're gonna tell the pilots where the ground commander for the Army wants that bomb dropped. So we're forward out there. Being out there in combat, you got shots going on, there's explosions, pretty chaotic, and it's a very dangerous job. Just over the years, uh, through fighting OEF and OIF, previous wars, and training, and getting uh, always staying prepared for combat, uh, it's a dangerous job in nature. So, and with that danger comes the the risk of losing lives, and that's what's happened over the past years. Today, we're out here in Grafenwehr military installation, in Germany. Uh, we're out here uh, honoring our fallen by running 24 hours straight. So the TACP 24 Hour Memorial. Uh, it's an annual event uh, this year. It was March 23rd and 24th. The reason why we're having this event is to raise money for the uh, families of the fallen TACPs so we can uh, support them in any adversity that they might encounter due to their loss. So I personally worked with one of the uh, fallen TACPs, Major Gray, uh, a couple weeks in Afghanistan and also knew him when he was going through the schoolhouse. He was a great guy. I mean, he was a phenomenal leader and everyone looked up to him. He's got a wife and three kids. Um, loved his family a lot. Uh, very good officer, very, very prestigious leader. He's missed and everyone who knows the fallen TACP or regardless if you do, uh, you can understand the sacrifice that they went through and that their families are encountering. One four, Major Gray, down the bed. Major Gray. What for? Sergeant Gavilik, down up in. So in conclusion to the 2016 TACP 24-hour run, we've had a total of 113 runners collect the, uh, 903 miles for us. That's a very good outcome considering we're a very small unit uh, demographic here in Europe. And uh, I feel like the support that we got was phenomenal, and we look forward to doing it again next year.